storm that could bring total devastation to parts of our state, especially in the Panhandle. Think about what we've seen before with storms like Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Michael poses a deadly threat, and as it grows stronger, we can expect it to make landfall as a major Category 3 storm on Wednesday along the Gulf Coast. One thing to think about on this storm surge, uh, just think of this is, if anybody's been around storm surge, watch what happens. It, it flows in very rapidly and flows out, and it takes everything that's not uh, heavy out with it. Uh, you can't survive storm surge. I remember with Ermine, uh, I met a lady. She was in one store house. She had a lot of pets. The water got up to, I guess, about her waist, and she knew she was not going to survive. And uh, she left her house, and thank God there was a high, high water vehicle outside at the end of her street, so she wouldn't have survived. The water comes in very quickly, and then it takes everything out. The panhandle and parts of the Big Bend will likely see winds in excess of 110 miles per hour. We have never seen a storm like this hit this part of our state. Again, Hurricane Michael is forecast to be the most destructive storm to hit the Florida Panhandle in decades. This storm will be life-threatening and extremely dangerous. We're expecting four to eight inches of rain, and some areas might see 12 inches of rain.